Lamar, 245, and we're about four wide at the front, and now it's Clayton Murphy. So remember, we're about 245 at that bell. So Chiedi out front, Murphy giving chase. Here comes Palomar. Three flat, maybe 259 at 1,200. This is going to be a quick last 200 because right now Chiedi, Murphy, Palomar, Avila moving up. Here comes True Hunter now. So here we go, 200 meters remain, 312, 313, and who's got the wheels? Hunter moving up well on the outside. Clayton trying to hold him off. Chietti, the Virginia Tech man trying to hold the inside lane, but here comes Clayton Murphy swinging out wide. It's Murphy with a step now. Hunter trying to go with. Murphy trying to hold them all off. He's in the middle of the track. Hunter going to the arms here. He's pumping, but Clayton Murphy is gliding away. The Olympic medalist is going to power home for a win here. 339, 340, and uh, man, he looks pretty smooth. He looks smooth as butter. Clayton Murphy wins it in 340. You know, he had a little bit of struggles this indoor season, but after his pre-Fontaine run and this run right here, I feel like he is in fine form as the elite 1,500-meter U.S. athlete we have next to Centrowitz. So 340 looking smooth, and he might even shut it down a little bit towards the end there. Holds off a hard-charging Hunter, and I think Hill actually closed, must have closed huge because he was ended up being third, I believe. Yeah, Ryan Hill was third. We hardly mentioned him that whole race, so he must have had a huge close. Lopez ended up being ninth in that race. And a good run for Drew Hunter, taking second in this field. Shows that he can mix it up with the big boys now. I mean, he would just been finishing his freshman year. That's crazy to so. think. <laughs> Murphy, Hunter, Hill, Palomar, Chietti, you're at